We just made it home. Baby brother brought the girls some cake pops as a token of acceptance into the family. Hola! Dale un besito chiquito aquí. ¿Dónde está la panza de mamá? Sí, mira, ya no, ya no tengo panza. Wait, what? Ya está baby. Dale un besito. Mira, baby. Hola, hermanito. Dime, hola, hermanito. Es tu baby brother. Censor it. Gracias, brother. Wow. Qué rico. Baby Está brother bien. went to the store and he was like, I want to buy something for Olivia and I want to buy something for Victoria. Pepe <laughs> Lo que pasa es que a mí me sorprende desde que, desde que te vi de con Olivia, el, el sentarte tú así derechita, el sentarte en el piso y levantarte, o sea, yo me tardaba como 10 días. Yo... Y sí, mira que mi mamá y me quedé yo los 40 días. 40 días. Para, para que te ayudara con todo, el, con Valeria sí. y con y con Kike también. Y este niño está grande. Kike nació pesando 2,700. Casi la mitad. Sí. Kike cabía en una caja de zapatos. <risa> wow, ¿Por qué me pusiste en una caja de zapatos para empezar? Porque te midieron en una caja de zapatos. Y había, hay una foto que tienes un. un you did it, yeah, he actually did fall asleep. He likes your singing. Oh no, you stop, you have to sing again. What? Carnage broke a nail. Damn. Anyways, I'm recording because my mom already left. She went back to Mexico. My dad's coming tomorrow to replace her, I guess. Baby right now. He looks fine in my opinion, but Karani said that he started looking kinda yellowish in the face and in the eyes. And I do see it, I do see it a little bit, like in his eyes. I feel like it's a lot. Yeah, it's kinda yellow. So we called the hospital and we're like, hey, so you guys run a test and apparently he doesn't have jaundice or Billy Rubin is in a good level. Victoria actually got jaundice with Victor with Olivia. We were able to lower the number while we were at the hospital. We just had to stay a couple extra days. Right now, Corinne is gonna have to go to the ER so they can run another test and see that everything is fine with little homie. It's very mellow. What do you guys think? Kinda yellow, yellowish, normal. Anyways, Karen's gonna take the camera and hopefully she can vlog a little bit. Okay, we just left the house. I'm pretty stressed out because obviously we have to bring all the kids because Enrique's mom left earlier today so we have no one to take care of them and they're already complaining. We're just gonna take baby to the children's hospital. I'm really hoping it's nothing but I am concerned and I am super pissed off at the hospital too. <laughs> Why would they let you go if, if, if there's a, even if there's a small risk that this shit could happen? Yeah, and... yeah, they don't really. That. Don't give a... Um, what was I gonna say? So yeah, I've not liked this McCallum experience. So we're gonna see what the hospital tells us. Uh, we're not gonna go to that one where I gave birth. We're going to this other children's hospital that we always take Olivia to. There is a two-hour wait. It's so packed. It's, it's never so like this. packed. Um, the times that we've taken Olivia here, because she's been sick twice from her stomach, like it's been well. empty. Yeah, almost completely empty. And today it is full. <sighs> Not fun. Now we're taking him to college. Just kidding. He has a poopy diaper. And I decided to get the hell out of that clinic. I went inside. There was a bunch of kids coughing. There was a huge line to even check in. This guy. Oh my god. Ah, oh my god, there was lightning behind him. Just very sick looking kids. And I figured like if he has jaundice, 
this cough would probably be worse for him so I just got out of there because it just didn't feel safe to be there for two hours while there's like a ton of kids coughing all the time so uh, we're just gonna wait till tomorrow the valley sucks when it comes to medical care it's just we called like five different clinics hospitals everything's two three hour wait we're just gonna hope for the best tonight I'm not gonna sleep Holy all night shit, that's what? A big poop. are you serious the biggest so far like is it smushy or thank you Enrique I still haven't cleaned one diaper <laughs> happens. <laughs> Them both crying like that, this is a first. Since we came home from the hospital, I don't know if it's grandma love or baby jealousy or a combination of both, but they also got really picky with eating. They're crying all the time. Yes. Grandma's gone. Your world is crumbling right now. <laughs> Your life is so hard. Don't mind like world wars, famine, plagues. If you know, you know. Oh. Let me record your reaction of the first pump of this pregnancy. I know. I, I didn't want to pump. Like, I'm, I've just been like exclusively breastfeeding. This pregnancy around, I'm getting a lot more milk. A lot. Because he feeds so much. Way more than the girls. He has not had any single, <laughs> not a single drop of formula. Yeah, with the girls we had to give them formula because they wouldn't latch or they just... But let's go. Let's see it. <sighs> That's strong. You know what? It actually doesn't hurt. Really? It doesn't hurt? Well, because he's been, um, I don't want to say sucking. What, what's a more baby he's, term? He's sucking. <laughs> okay, Not well. Literally, he's sucking the milk out of your titties. <laughs> that sounds so bad. But it's literally what's happening. <laughs> what if you say, oh yeah, he's beautifully nurturing himself from his mother. Yes, that. Something. Yes, he's been nurturing. So it actually doesn't hurt, thankfully. And that guy is Karenis. No. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Relax and watch some YouTube. That's the end of the video. Bye. Is that the end? Right now we don't know what's happening, you guys. There's this is Probably not, we'll see. We'll see. This might be the outro if it is. Bye. <laughs> well, I'll and see if it's when not, I see you. We'll see you in a minute. Yeah. It is the next day and baby still looks kinda yellow. Or we call her doctor. His doctor, sorry. I keep keep misgendering him. Bruh, it is man. Call his doctor and she said that uh, she cannot see him today. So we're going back to the ER. Hopefully there's less coffee children. Maybe we should call to ask the wait. I think it's gonna be kind of empty today. I hope so. That's... Even if not, we'll have to wait. That's just what it is. Because he's yellow like a Simpson. Hi, caramba. We gotta do something about it. <laughs> this shit's unacceptable. I was again waiting in line. Like yesterday when I was waiting in line, there was this um, a couple kids like coughing really hard and this time it happened again. There was this kid, he was maybe like eight years old, he was coughing really hard and he kept coughing like towards my direction and then he started gagging and then he threw up. So they had to like bring stuff and I was like, oh heck no. And then I don't know if it was his sister or something, but the other girl started also like coughing and then she started gagging and she was gagging towards me. I had to literally like run away from her because she kept gagging towards me. I was like, that that's too much. I can't, I can't. Like it's That's it's quite the situation we're we've been put in. Because yeah. we wanna we want baby to be seen, but we don't want him to get something worse than exactly what could happen. What day is it? Because he has his appointment the 28th. So I don't know what we're gonna do now. I look horrible. Um, what happened? Oh, Andrea just called the pediatrician. They're gonna see him tomorrow at two. I think that's just better because she asked if he's eating well. He's like super normal. He doesn't have a fever. He the only thing is that his eyes are yellow and his skin looks a little bit yellow. That's the only. I was asking him, hey, can we just like park outside and maybe just wait for a patient not to show up? And they're like, yeah, usually we would, but right now because he's a newborn, he's the first time being seen. It's gonna be a longer time. He needs more time. Yeah. Not it's not just like a regular. Uh, mm -hmm appointment so he'll be seen tomorrow i'm sure he's gonna be okay like i said because he's eating well and everything so after yesterday's massive dump i think yeah i think he i think he probably excreted like half the billy rubin and then all last night he kept pooping so yeah i changed two diapers did you change the diaper yesterday yes i did i finally God, changed Tony. i finally changed you should have woken, you should have woken me up i would have done you it you were snoring and yeah. i did i was like hey and you were like, hmm? I was like oh whatever Cheese!
Enrique's in the back changing the second diaper in less than 20 minutes. He is pooping a lot. The first one was a massive pee. This one was a massive shh. It, it just kept going. He just kept tooting and tooting and the it... The sound of it, like, it like, just... It blah, sounded like, blah, blah, a, like a flushing toilet. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Are you okay? Oh, I was so close from gagging. Are you serious, Enrique? <laughs> ah, my God! <laughs> Enrique, don't throw up on him. I won't. Ah. Enrique, are you for real? I'm better than this. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I scared you with my gagging. Damn, you scared me too. Why you scared me too? Rob crying. You scared me too. <laughs> Look at them. They don't like when he, when he cries. Oh. Uh. Where is he going? Oh, he's gonna throw away the diaper. Okay. This is like, he didn't even let me know. I thought we were gonna go get a house. So I was recording, I was like, why are you going in there? Because I wanna praise my baby. <laughs> I wanna see how much it's worth. <laughs> um, <coughs> lovely background from Olivia. I told you guys, these girls have been like such crybabies now their baby's here. This never happens. She got mad because her shoe fell. No, this is so nice. No more vomiting children or coughing children. <laughs> she, she even said the other one was the sick waiting area. This is the your Healthy. patient, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's nice because they let us both be in here. It's not strict here. So I don't have to struggle now. We gotta get baby out of there, get him out of his clothes. He's gonna cry for sure. He hates being naked. Yeah, he doesn't like. I guess we haven't showed you guys how he cries when he gets diaper changes. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Like he gets red. Oh, he's getting yellow. <laughs> See a poop? There's no poop stains, but it doesn't smell like anything either. Hey guys, welcome to gift no. opening with Kareni Martinez and girls. We're back and guys, honestly, I don't know what, what outro this is going to be in. Our vlogs are everywhere, but this is the last of the gifts, except we did not receive three of them. Um, we're going to put them here somewhere. Right here, right here. Right here. We did not receive these, so if you guys sent that, let Amazon know. I was trying to do it on my part, but I couldn't, so it has to be um, your part. Just so you know. So I hope every, I hope whoever sent that actually watches this and you're like, oh, I did yes. order that. Yes. And do something about it. But we're gonna try to do this one a little quicker, just because we've seen that you know. I mean, it's understandable. We lose a lot of engagement we when we start opening presents. Yes. People we click out of the video right away. So yes. first of all, this one. This was from Raquel, which was from the previous video, but it finally came in. This is a one for the girls, and it's an educational gift, girls. They need to get educated. Yes. So I'm not sure what it is yet, but it looks really fun. And thank you, Raquel. Thank you so much. Here. You make the girls so happy. So happy. <laughs> this is from Irisima, my friend, who I was talking about. She was the one that gave the girls the beds. So she also gave baby boy something. And it's little booties. Little booties. Thank you so much, Irisima. And the girls are so thankful. We, we always text, so you know how grateful we are, but. And we miss you. We hope you can come to Texas soon. Oh, well, we're really cool. And bring David. Yes. And Natalia. Oh, of course. <laughs> I want to say something about this one. This one is the mirror. I already opened it because I knew someone sent it because it we had to run that to day hospital. to the hospital. So and we, we needed the mirror, so Enrique was just like... 
and she also Reading got notes. maybe a, a helmet and her note was so cute she wrote safety first can't wait to see baby boy love y'all from andrea velasco oh thank you for keeping our baby nail it <laughs> next gift is this very boho onesie with dinosaurs it's, it's all about the dinosaurs it's all about dinosaurs with boys yeah dinosaurs and fire trucks <laughs> says congratulations from Carrie Anderson. Thank you so much, Carrie. Carrie. All right, next. <laughs> Stop. Okay, so we got some newborn socks. This little outfit that says bro, which is so adorable. B-R-O. And another new to the crew, but these are like bigger sizes. Which and is it's great. white, the other one was black. Yes, so now he has something for everything. It says, um, watching from the beginning and becoming like family has been a journey. Congratulations on baby boy. You both are great parents. I hope to continue life's journey with you all. Love you all from Nicole C. Thank you, that Nicole That is so C. sweet, Nicole. Thank you so much. And thank you for being here from the beginning. We hope you stick till the end. Because we're going to vlog till we die. What's going to be the... I was going to say, what's going to be the <laughs> end? I was dying. when we die. Yeah. No, actually the end of the world. That's what's going to happen oh, first. And like the world, the yeah. world is going to explode. And we're going to vlog that too. <laughs> Next. Next. <laughs> a gift for you. Enjoy your gift. Oh, thank you. Enjoy your gift. Thank That's you. That's very thoughtful. That's, they're baby gowns. And next one is a, finally he gets a little hat for the sun. Whoa, this what is really cute. And this is it says hi both. I have watched you since day one and can't wait to see your family grow with new baby boy. I wish nothing but health and happiness for you all. I thought this hat was so cute. Love from Australia. And it's from Charlie. Oh, thank you, Mike. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Charlie. <laughs> thank you. I know she was really worried that we didn't receive this, but we just have not have time to open it. No, gifts that present is probably from the very beginning. I, I just, know. I just, like, it was on the back of that curtain, so yes, I didn't see it for the so. longest time. Yeah. And then we finally found it. I'm sorry, Charlie, but thank you so much for his little. Is that it? Uh, no, this one. We got one more. Okay. Ooh, I'm so excited for this one. This is um, the baby. It's like swaddle. a swaddle, but you don't that have to really like swaddle them. You just... Yeah, so convenient. It says, this is fun to be able to give a gift to a family that deserves the world. Aww. Aww. Thank ah. you for your viewers' real life entertainment and being authentic. Congratulations from Sarah. Thank, Thank you, Sarah. Sarah. Quite lovely. It is very lovely. We love reading everyone's comments. So seeing it in paper, you know, it's mm -hmm. different. And it's still really cool. So you guys leave us a comment. We love reading comments. We do, and you guys know we most of the time we, we get dopamine you guys. hits. Huh? We get dopamine hits. It does hits. though. We're always like. The last one's gonna be this one right here. It's a lot of things, and this one I can tell it's stuff for the girls. We for have girls. a uni bear. Wow, uni bear. Probably for Olivia because she has a thing for plushes. Yes. Do you want it, Olivia? See, See? then. And. For Victoria, of course, because Victoria loves bows, as you can see, she wears the same one. So now she's gonna have more. Look at Victoria. <gasps> wow, oh, you like this? I'm gonna read this one. <clears throat> I adore watching your loving family on YouTube. Congrats on the new bundle of joy. Can't wait to see him. I got Victoria more hair pieces since she, since I see she loves them, and a little something for Olivia to cuddle with. Wow, thank you, Margaret, oh, because you are very that. observational. You know that she loves Victoria her bows, and you know bows. she loves the plushes. Are you gonna wear one, Victoria? She also sent three more things for baby boy. She sent him some onesies. Mm -hmm. She sent him some newborn um, little joggers. Because you're gonna go running, yes? Yes. And another little boho outfit. Yeah, Aww. is it a Peaky Blinder boho outfit? No, this is just, just like boho sweater. It's really, really cute. All right. Oh, thank you. What, what was it from? Margaret. From Margaret. Rodriguez. Thank you so much, Margaret. Margaret Rodriguez. Look at this. It's it a Bob's. Bob's. What? Isn't that so cute? <laughs> like the cats? Bob's. Bob's. Oh, Bob's. Remember yeah, Bob the cat? I remember. I, I mean, I bought it because Bob's, it sounds cute. It like sounds cute. Little Bob. Look at She's already cuddling with it. <laughs> you nailed it. And Victoria's already going to. Dale besito, Olivia. Oh, quiere mucho a su uni bear. <laughs> okay, everybody. Thank you very All much right. for watching. Thank you. Um, I think this is an outro for one of our videos. I don't know, you guys. Right now, uh, we have just a uh, We have a chaos punch of footage, and it's actually kind of stressful. But fruity fruity. we're going to get back to it, you guys. Just give us some time to adjust again with baby. Baby's currently taking a nap. I know they're not supposed to sleep in the car seat, but it's just... 
Oh, for a little bit. You don't want to wake him up. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> what? Are you serious? <laughs> okay, as we said, thank you for watching. Thank you guys so much. And we will see you in the next vlog. Girls, bye! bye.